in one way, um, we're going to be alone anyway, whichever way we turn, whichever way we face, uh, and ultimately, um, we are on our own. That's what the school is thinking. But um, on the other hand, at this time, at these times, um, this isn't only for the royal family, this is only for COVID grief families. This is, you know, I, I always think this is for all the families that I meet um, on a daily basis. Um, you know, you need your support system more than ever around this. Yes, you are on your own ultimately. Um, and I think what we need to do is think about those in. Uh, doctor, we tried. We really tried. <laughs> uh, doctor Shelley Gilbert, we, we tried, but thank you. I think we got the, 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 the majority of the points. Psychotherapist, founded the bereavement charity, Grief Encounter. Uh, text here on 84858. So why are we only discussing this now? Pairing back these funerals in this draconian manner was always wrong. Now it's the Queen, it's worthy of discussion. Too late to change, considering the millions affected by the 150,000 people lost. The bereavement mental health will cost the NHS and society in the end. The Queen had to go through what we already have. And if you have gone through what Her Majesty has gone through, in the sense that you have lost someone through COVID and the funeral was not a process...